Yeah, things are crept out with my old air compressor. I gotta show you my air compressor here. It is over here. Yeah, this thing's giving me some trouble here. <clears throat> it's a four horsepower, you know. It's an old Sears model. You know, cast iron double cylinder. They call it a four horse. But it's only got a five eighths shaft. You know, so like, and it's a 15 amp. However, it's got one of these, I call it super multi-groove pulleys on it, if this thing will focus. Some days it focuses, some days it doesn't. But anyway, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a two banger, 20 gallon tank. I bought it brand new. The damn thing's only 35 years old. And now the motor won't run. And yeah, that's a bottle cap you see. There's a dust cap on the end of the motor there. Works good, it's been on there for about 10 years. And uh, I bypassed everything. I put a new capacitor on it. And uh, I checked uh, these leads, the ones inside this box here. They're hot on both ends. And I also checked inside here, inside this little dealie here with my neon test light. And they're hot too. And as you can tell, see these little tiny light cage white wires there? Those are just temporary. I used them, I, was, I jumped them all the way direct from the incoming hot into there. Still no dice, you know? So, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a bummer. You know, there's the model number. They don't make this particular compressor anymore. And they probably haven't made it in <laughs> since 1972. But, you know, that kind of sucks. <coughs> As you can tell, I'm geared up for rough terrain with this compressor. Uh, although usually I just try to keep it on the driveway, but I can pull it around in the yard if I, if I need to. And uh, this handle here, it's been modified. This handle here used to be made out of pipe, thin wall, like, like uh, almost conduit, half inch conduit. But now it's solid. This is a solid steel bar now. Yeah. See? That U-shaped bar? I'll give you a top view. Yeah, that U-shaped bar is a solid. Exactly the same dimensions as the old one, except it's now solid. So, you know, the old wheels were little tiny things, even smaller than that front wheel. And the old handle was just a piece of thin wall pipe. So, uh, you know, I changed a few things. Matter of fact, I'm going to hang this thing from the ceiling of my garage, I think. Oh, yeah, here's another thing I changed. This air filter. It'll focus. Probably won't be able to tell. I'm going to get in real close. If I can hold it still enough. I probably won't be able to. But anyway, take my word for it. There's a... Uh, the regular air cleaner is inside that. And what you're looking at there is a piece of super fine mesh stainless steel screen, which I vacuum off occasionally from the top. Eh, and it makes the uh, air filters, which are kind of like a a felt, a non-woven felt, makes those last a whole lot longer. Yeah, so I call this the blow-off switch, but I don't really know what the trade name is. It says not to adjust it or do not readjust. So I haven't readjusted it. It cuts on at about, I don't know, 80 or 90. Cuts off at 125. I never have screwed with it. The gauge still works. You know, but I, I'm afraid the motor's bad, you know, so if you got one of these motors for me, you know, let me give you a close look here. Let me give you a close look at the uh, motor tag. See if we can focus on that for you. I'll try to hold this perfectly still for you. Well, anyway, you probably can't read it because it's a blur, but it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's a Gould Century 3450 RPM, 4.0 horsepower, 5 8 shaft. Rotation is uh, counterclockwise viewed from the shaft end. Has to be a 5 8 shaft so I can reuse this pulley because it's what I call a six groove, six tiny groove pulley. Takes one of these webbed uh, web belts 
one of these, you know, I call them, I don't know, like serpentine belts except smaller. So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. If you got a motor hanging around, let me know because uh, I got some other motors, big three phase motors and stuff. I want to swap you a motor. I want to get this compressor running because I got some die grindering I need to do. And uh, this is my air compressor. And uh, as you can tell, it's still right here in the driveway. And I'm giving you a walk around tour of it now. And uh, here's one of my cats. Here he is. Okay. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you later. Bye.